Hello everybody, my name is Kishu Rajesh and this is Video Bites. Today I have with us Mr. Weiss, who teaches 6th, 7th, and Upper School Drama at Basic Scottsdale. This is his sure. second year of teaching. Um, thank you so much for being with us, Mr. Weiss. Sure, no problem. The first question is, who or what inspired you to study drama? Who or what inspired me to study drama specifically in theater? Yeah. Um, I would say probably... Um, I, I was interested in, in, in this aspect of performance when I was really little. My brother and I used to make movies all the time. He had a video camera uh, and he would be like, you need to be in it. And I'm like, why? And he's like, because I don't want to be. I'm like, all right. Uh, and so I was in a lot of his movies and I would always die in every movie all the time. It was great. Um, and then that got me interested in doing drama and theater. And then I started doing it a lot in high school. Um, and so really uh, developing that work in the extracurricular program in my high school right outside of Chicago was really what did, um, th that's really what got me into it mostly and why I continue to do it to this day. Well, you mentioned you studied drama in high school and, and college. So do you have any favorite teacher? And if any, if you had a te favorite teacher, uh, why? Oh, absolutely. Um, the, the teacher that I think has meant the most to me, um, her name is Julie Nelson, or was Julie Nelson. She is no longer um, uh, with us. And uh, she was my uh, high school English teacher and then was also the drama director. Um, it was, she was a very, very curious woman. I remember I went into her, her English class and she was talking about stability and she had this really terrible um, podium, like this really hollow metal podium. She was talking about stability, and then she just knocked it over on purpose in the middle of class to make a point about how it wasn't stable. And the whole class was like, whoa, and we were like immediate and woke and present. Um, and um, I just remember her being really strict, but being very direct, and um, really just inspired me a lot in, in theater and drama. And she left, um, she moved away my last year or for my senior year, and then her assistant took over, um, and uh, and Julie was uh, very meant a lot to me, and I became friends with her after after high school, um, and then she came back uh, every once in a while to actually because I started working at the high school after my undergrad, and I was assisting the woman that took over for Julie, so I worked for her for five years. Oh wow. Um, assisting at the school and so I had a lot of time as a student there and as a um, and as an arts an arts um, educator there working with students and working with people that had been my teachers and my mentors and then were my colleagues um, but uh, as the, the most of them I think Julie was the most um, inspiring and uh, meant a lot to me uh, and still means a lot to me I have uh, a little trinket that she gave her bought her um, assistant director and then when I became assistant director she gave that to me and so I still have that so that's that, that's like a little a little keychain that means a lot to me nice. in your classes do you do any improv games oh all the time that's almost yeah. how we start every class do you have any favorite uh, improv game you would like to I like uh, I mean we do warm-up games like the, the seventh graders this year did an entire improv comedy show for their first performance uh, the one that I enjoy a lot is um, I mean, the cl a classic one is freeze where everybody just kind of, they just make up their own scenes as they go. Um, and when they get suggestions from the audience, I like a game called scraps where the audience has to write down phrases on pieces of paper. And then the actors on stage have to randomly take those phrases, those pieces of paper, put them in their pockets. And then they get a location and a relationship and they start having to act out a scene. And they're like, oh, look at that sign. What does it say? And they pull out the scrap and they have to read it. And they have to make sense of that, what the audience wrote and incorporate it into the scene and it has to make sense. Um, which is always really fun just to see the actors have a curveball thrown at them and then they have to justify it, um, which is a blast. I love that game. And there's a game that uh, called Party Quirks that I very much enjoy uh, where um, the audience gives suggestions for the performers to have a certain type of aspect. Maybe they're like obsessed with the color red, for example and then a host would leave the room, all these actors would get these quirks, and then the host would come back and the actors would come into this party one, one at a time, and the host would have to kind of guess within the fiction of the scene what their quirk is or what their like thing is. And those are the games that I enjoy a lot. Those, those are really, really fun. Yeah, they're a blast. Yeah, and then um, do you have any memorable or funniest moment you had like teaching drama or like, in your drama class when you were learning? Um, 
Let me think. There was actually this year uh, for the last day for the seniors, because um, uh, I, I usually, when it's the last day for, for seniors, I'm like, all right, well, what do you want to do today? I let them sort of run the class and give them the opportunity to do the thing. And they're like, we want to be roasted today. And I'm like, I'm like, really? They're like, yeah, we want everyone to kind of come up with jokes and kind of, you know, make fun of us. I'm like, well, okay. Uh, in sort of like a, you know, a, a loving way. And so it was just, it was very funny. So they, they kind of sat, we have this couch, they kind of sat on this couch and then everybody else in the class kind of hung out um, on these risers and they just were there and there was just about, it was like, all right, who could come up with like clever jokes uh, about the seniors uh, as a way to give them tribute um, as, uh, as they left this year. That was a, that was a delight. That was absolutely delightful. Um, and I was like making jokes about pretending to, to like their, like uh, one of them, um, writes their own music and I, I was like well now I don't have to pretend to like your music anymore and stuff like that like I was like doing those kind of gags uh, but it was it was it was it was lovely it was a lovely time and very very funny yeah, yeah. definitely seems like it um, who is your favorite playwright do you have a favorite playwright or actor in oh god um, playwright there's a playwright that I like uh, a lot like I, I went to um, ASU to study theater for youth for a master's um, and there's a playwright that I very much enjoyed. Um, she, she writes a lot of, uh, very, very strange plays, but her name is Susan Zeter. Uh, and she, um, she just writes these, these really odd, interesting plays just about young people doing all this bonker stuff. And so I very much enjoyed, enjoyed her work a lot. Uh, that's a specific theater for youth, um, piece. Otherwise, um, in terms of, uh, Non-youth, uh, I guess, related work. Um, I would say. I mean, I love Shakespeare. I think Shakespeare's hilarious. Uh, right now, actually, I'm editing some work that the seventh graders sent in because we were supposed to perform *Midsummer Night's Dream* this year, and we weren't able to uh, because of uh, all the uh, distance learning. So they recorded all their lines and they sent them in to me, and uh, I'm putting them together in terms of like an audio format, and we're just kind of creating almost like an audio story or podcast with it. And so that's what I'm doing right now um, as they're taking comps. Uh, so as a way to kind of go with that, but that's something that, that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, and it's, it's, it's something that I, I, I like, I, I enjoy working on a lot. There's another playwright um, who's done a few, a few plays uh, named Marco Ramirez. He also did some writing for some of the Marvel shows on Netflix. Um, his work is I think super interesting. He does a lot of magical realism and work uh, around uh, Latinx youth and um, that culture. It's just it's lovely, some lovely work. Okay, um, thank you so much, Mr. Weiss, for agreeing to be part of this interview. And I hope you have a great rest of the school year and great summer. Thank you very much, you as well, my pleasure. Take care. You too.